Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I am a spiritual medium and intuitive reader with a message for Aries. Big vote of confidence for Aries this week. I have asked my guides and spirit to bring a message through the cards that I can impart to you that will be helpful and deeply meaningful for you this week. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I invite you and really encourage you to subscribe because it keeps you in constant contact with that higher vibration information from spirit and from anyone that wants to get a message through to you. And um, if at any point in this reading you feel compelled to like or subscribe, or like or comment, please feel welcome to. It's always great to hear from you. So let's get straight to your reading. This is a challenging week, but it's all internal. It's all stuff you're creating. So take a little comfort in that because you totally have control over that. So energy around you is the eight of cups. I get the feeling that you're being asked to leave something, like leave a stage of something. So you've recognized that what has been kind of the status quo for you, what's been the norm is suddenly just not satisfying. And you realize that you have to leave because there's a bigger direction for you, a better direction for you. And I do feel like this is work more than I feel like it's relationships. It's also just something within yourself. Like I said, this reading is really about you this week. It's not so much about the things in your environment. So you're, you're realizing, okay, I need to leave. There's a lot of things that I need to let go of. There's a lot of places that I need to just be done with. Again, internal, spiritual places I need to be done with. And there's a worry. You've got to worry. The Nine of Swords. You're not sure you can get back off the ground. This The imagery is so interesting here. So she's diving to the bottom of the ocean and he is on the ground, but you notice he's got wings and he should be up in the sky. So it's like you've got all the way down to the bottom and you're like, oh my God. And you come back like halfway and you're like, I can't get back up to where I was supposed to be flying again. So there's a lot of self-doubt going on. And you're just not sure if you have what it takes to get to that flying level again, where you were flying and doing well and, and soaring and just getting the things done. So it's almost, it's like the energy stops for you this week, which is so weird for an Aries because you're usually just on the go, go, go. But this internal doubt is just holding you down. And doubt is, is a problem for a lot of us right now that's with the planets and et cetera, et cetera. But for you especially, you're being really affected by this. So your advice, I love your advice. We've got the six of cups, the sun, and then the eight of swords. And they're telling me to read this card much differently than I've ever read it in the past. And it's actually a little bit, it's, it's not so bad. First of all, the message of this spread here is lighten up. These two cards, this is literally light, right? It's the sun, it's the friggin' sun, lighten up. Um, and this is the six of cups, which is childhood innocence and purity and things weren't so bad as a child, right? So it's it's just trying to get you to, to stop being so heavy and so drawn down and so grounded, like, like you can't move, not grounded like you're stable, but grounded like ugh, stuck. Because these cards are so heavy and this is just saying, come on, lighten up, lighten up. And it's saying to me also that despite all of the successes you've had in the past, I don't know how many times you've done this kind of thing where you've had to let something go, like tear it down, and then you're rising back up again. You've done this so many times in the past, but for some reason you're like, well, it worked back then, but it's not going to work now. You've just got this weird belief in your head, this doubt, this eight of swords that's keeping you from, <laughs> from getting out of this. Your mind is just saying, well, yeah, it worked for me then because I was lucky or it worked for me then because someone else helped me. But the thing is, is all those successes that you've had in the past, all those different successes, the one constant, the one common denominator is the person looking at this video right now. It was you. You were the one thing that all of those successes had in common in all of those different areas. There is no reason why you can't get out of this now and why you can't be succeeding now. Um, it's really, it's really that simple. It's just these mind things are, are getting you, they're getting you stuck. So let me see if I can get you a little bit more information, a little bit more advice. So just give me a second.
Okay, some of this is it's habitual, that there's a habitual tendency to go immediately to doubt when something doesn't work out very quickly. So there's some impatience there. So um, that's maybe just something to be aware of, that when you start to feel that impatience and then you start to go into that doubt, um, you've got to be like, wait a second, <laughs> I haven't given this long enough. But it's too... It's like the emotions are getting involved before the the rational thinking mind can talk to you. I hope that makes sense to you. So your emotions get involved and then you start this, I can't, I can't, I can't, I doubt, I doubt, I doubt. And your rational thinking mind that's like, this isn't even logical. It doesn't have a chance. So let me, and we're still quite not quite there yet. So just give me a second. Okay, so they're saying, Hold on to the idea of flow. Hold on to the idea that nothing is going to last forever. Hold on to the idea that this place you're feeling right now, this stuckness, the doubt, that's part of a flow. And the quicker you can just see this as part of something in motion, the easier it's going to be to release that from your energy field. So I think this means literally spending time around some running water. And this is going to just put this in my head. Um, they're, yeah, they're taking me strange places today. If you're not near any running water, you have a bathtub or you have a sink. And this sounds really whack to me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So just turn on the tap, put your hands in the water or even better, put your feet in the water, but put something, put some extremity in the water and just visualize all those doubts you're having just flowing from your hands into the water or from your feet into the water. Just get yourself into that current. Yeah, well, it makes sense when I say it out loud. It just felt weird in my head. So the you really have to tune into that energy of flow. And if you're by running water, great. Spend a lot of time there just quiet by yourself, listening and connecting with that energy of movement. And that's going to start to help you shift that doubt. You're not going to be able to conquer it with thinking because you're already thinking too much. So you've got to do something like connect to the water. <laughs> Eat a lot of soup. Also, they just put that in my head. So um, so that also says to me that there's more, you need to do a little bit more self-nourishment. So um, if you've got questions about any of that, please reach out in the comments. That is <laughs> Thanks for, uh, for being on this journey with me because they certainly took me into different places today. Um, I invite you to check out my website, True Guidance Tarot. I have something new that I've just started, the Phoenix Path Program. And it's for those of you that are really ready to self-actualize and transform and get help leading your best life possible. So I'd love to see you next week and I will look forward to seeing you then. Okay, have a good one.